Welcome to Edgecliff in Sydney's Inner East. A mix of housing and high-rise with all the benefits city living has to offer. It's home sweet home for keen gardeners Philip and Ian. Their rooftop apartment perched overlooking the busy train line is their very own potted palace. There's so many advantages to living right here in the heart of the city, isn't there? Well, absolutely. I mean, I catch the train every morning to get to work. <laughs> so that's me on this train. I get to see my garden when I come past in the morning. <laughs> and it's great. I take a little photo sometimes. <laughs> yeah. See how things are growing. Yeah, exactly. And every two minutes, there's a train. It's great. We're really lucky to have this place, actually. Like, we're so lucky to be able to have the opportunity to have a garden here and be able to do this. The total space up here is 350 square metres, of which 200 square metres is the garden. So we've tried really hard to plant as many natives as we can. We have a lot of grevillea, like around 15 to 20 grevillea, all in pods. Um, the calistamon, um, eucalyptus and banksia but also lots of produce. Yeah, I like to cook with the produce from the garden. I'll take, you know, the herbs out of here. We use the rosemary almost every night, the coriander now, it's fantastic. Phil got me onto the native trees and I'm eating the lily pilly berries now. They're like little mini apples. Yeah, and you made jam from them as well. And yeah. gave it to all our friends and everything. So Costa, this is our Eureka lemon tree. It used to have uh, lavender underneath it, but we took it out and uh, just put in some mulch there and it's taken off. I mean, that's a good move because lemons don't like any competition for their feeder roots, which dwell on the surface. Mm -hmm. And to think you've had such a result, I mean, there's a lot of fruit on here. Now, through all the foliage, my infrared compost goggles has picked up a compost bin. And I like the fact that, you know, we can't take for granted, you don't, have the chance to put the compost on the ground. Yeah, that's right. So this is really appropriate in this space. Yeah, so Phil bought me this for my birthday this oh, year. Oh, what a gift. <laughs> yeah. That's the kind of gift to win a gardener's heart. So we joined the share waste uh, thing after seeing it on Gardening Australia. Oh, that's fantastic. That's one of my favourite projects. Yeah, it's really a win-win because they want to get rid of their scraps in an energy efficient way and we want the scraps to use in our garden. So yeah. it works for them, it works for us. It's fantastic. Yeah. And how's it looking? Well, have a smell. Have a it smells good. Now, moisture-wise, it's perfect. There's enough heat in there yep. that it's doing its job. So yeah. we just put it out onto the veggies like that, or do we mix it in with soil? You can turn it into the soil once you've cleared a crop, or if you're just feeding the bed, just spread it around, right. mulch over the top to protect it from drying out, and that compost will perform all that feeding and water-holding roles. So what was this space like when you first came here? So it was all one deck that was all in pieces, basically. And so we had the choice, do we just leave it bare and do nothing with it, or do we actually make it into a garden? So what have been some of the challenges that you've faced setting up a garden on the roof here? Um, so we've had a lot of challenges. First one being the weight of all the pots and plants. We engaged the engineers that um, designed the building originally to actually understand whether this rooftop could take the weight. So one of the cube planters there weighs 1.1 tonnes when full of soil and full of water. I think we've got about uh, 13 cubes, so that's 13 tonnes of weight on this rooftop, just in the cubes alone, plus all the other pots as well. And also drainage for the entire space. So we need to make sure that it slopes all into one corner. Drainage is a really big one. So we did a special system uh, with a uh, drainage cell. We put a geofab material and then sand on top of that. And that really helps just allow the water to flow straight through. And it's worked quite well. Wow, there's a lot of flowers going on in this little corner of yeah. the garden. So these are my favourite grevilleas in the whole garden, the Dew of Flame. And I just love them because they flower all year round and attract heaps of bees. 
We've just used um, premium native potting mix for our natives, and they seem to be doing well. You know, this is a good example of sticking to that basic rule and getting the success. Yeah. With the bottle brush here, it flowers beautifully, it gets the birds in, but we want to trim it back a little bit, but we're not really sure. We don't want to go too heavy. How would you recommend that we um, trim it back? Where you've got the, the flower spike, once that's finished flowering, just take it back to about there. And that will, will keep it nice and dense. If you get any dye back in the centre, just cut that out and right. that will encourage more light in to encourage more shoots. Yeah, so we live inside right there and we look at this all day. Um, so we've created a nice mix of natives along here and it works quite well. Creating that screen, blocking out those buildings over there, creates that privacy. The garden gives so much, doesn't it? It does, yeah. What you put in, you get back. This is like our space. We, you know, we've put all the effort in here ourselves and it's just so rewarding to know that we've done it. You know, we've put it all the effort in and we, we're reaping the benefits of it. Yeah, and can share with other people, yeah. Yeah. Who's thirsty? Is, oh, oh, yeah. What have you created there? These are some lemon cocktails with rosemary sugar syrup. Wow. Mm, thank you. A little gift, a lemon myrtle. Oh, oh my gosh. Beautiful. You will be able to use in lots of new cocktail constructions. Absolutely. Yeah. And oh, I think so it'll, it'll thrive up here. This high-rise haven is a little slice of health and happiness. Well, here's cheers. Cheers. Here's to gardening up on the rooftops.